Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I am going to show you the solution for question two from the May 2015 PUA paper two. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the solution. Okay, so the first thing, it says state two distinguishing features of a partnership. So, I mean, there's a whole list. I'm just going to give you guys a couple of them. So it says unlimited liability for owners, although you can have limited partners, but one partner in a partnership must always have unlimited liability and between two and 20 or more owners in some cases. You might also say there is more capital available than in a sole trader, but of course, the list goes on and on. If you have any interesting characteristics or distinguishing features you want to let us know about, Put them in the comments below and I might pin the best list. Okay, let's check out the next part of the question. So it says that Barney and Swiper are in partnership. Their current account balances as at 31st March 2015 before appropriation woo. Current account, so let's take a look. It says here Barney has a balance of 2,500 and Swiper has a balance of 600, which is in brackets. Those brackets signify that that is a negative or in this case, a debit balance. The question itself is asking, state the significance of the brought down balance on each partner's current account. Okay, so that's relatively simple. So in the case of Barney, right, Barney's credit balance in the case that he has a surplus on his current account. So the credit balance implies that you have more on the credit side than on the debit side. On the credit side of the current account, you have earnings such as interest on capital, salaries, and a share of profit. On the debit side, you have drawings and interest on drawings, which are withdrawals. So if you have a credit balance, your earnings will more than your withdrawals, which means you have a surplus on your current account. For Swiper, however, Swiper's debit balance indicates that he has a deficit on his current account. So again, if you have a debit balance, it implies that the debit side total or the items on the debit side were more in total than the items on the credit side, which means you had more withdrawals than you earned. And if you took out more than you earned, you are in a deficit. So that's what the balances on each of those accounts signify. Okay, let's take a look at the next part, but I have to rearrange my screen. So give me a couple seconds. So the next part of the question reads, other balances extracted from the books of Barney and Swiper include, okay, so we have some capital account balances, 60,000 for Barney, 35,000 for Swiper. Then we have some drawings. So Barney took 4,000 drawings, but note, we have some dates, 1st October, 2014, to 31st March, 2015. For Swiper, Swiper had 12,000 worth of drawings, but the dates there are, 1st Jan 2015 to 31st March 2015. So what does that mean? It means that the drawings were not outstanding for the entire year. Therefore, we have to count the number of months for which they were outstanding and apply that when we are calculating the interest on drawings because interest rates are given per annum. Now, in some questions, it doesn't matter. They don't give you any drawings are taken out. You calculate the whole year's interest. If they give you months, make sure to calculate the interest only for the number of months. We'll get into that a bit later. Let's take a look at the additional information. So the first thing is that the net income for the year ended 31st March 2015 is 82,000. Barney earns an annual salary of 36,000. So again, this is a question where only one partner earns a salary. The interest on capital is 5% per annum. The interest on drawings is 10% per year. And Barney and Swiper share profits and losses in the ratio of three to respectively. And what do they want us to do? They want us to prepare an appropriation account for Barney and Swiper for the year ended 31st March 2015. Okay, so let's get started. So please don't forget to head up your appropriation account, the name of the partners, the name of the statement, the period to which it applies. The first item that's going to go inside of here is the net income of 82,000. And then before we do any appropriations, we have to add the interest on drawings. Now for Barney, for, from October 1st, 2014 to 31st March 2015. So let's count it. October, November, December, January, February, March. That's six months. So the interest on drawings is at a rate of 10% per annum. So we're going to multiply 10% by the 4,000 and then adjust that for six months out of the 12. See, 4,000 by 10% by six months out of 12. Similarly, for Swiper, Swiper's drawings were from Jan 1st, 2015 to 31st March 2015. So Jan, Feb, March, only three months. So we're going to multiply the 12,000 by 10% and then adjust that for three months out of the 12. So we're going to add 200 and 300 together to get 500. And we're going to add that to the net income before appropriation. So now we have to subtract, well, we have to appropriate profits. So what do we do there? Well, there's no one right order for the appropriations. I, however, like to put my interest on capital first. So that's 5% per annum of the capital figures on top here. So in the case of Barney, 
we're going to see 5% of 60,000 giving us 3,000. In the case of Swiper, 5% of 35,000 giving us 1,750. That's going to total this 4,750. Don't forget, Barney earns a salary. Now, you could put salary first before interest on capital. That's up to you. I don't think it makes a difference arithmetically. Now, we're going to add those two appropriations together to give us 40,750, which is going to be subtracted from the 82,500 above. That's going to give us 41,750. And now we have to share that profit between Barney and Swiper. And we're going to do that in the ratio of 3 to 2. Now, how do we treat with profit sharing ratios? We add the two or how many other numbers together and we get a total. 3 and 2 is 5. And then we put each of those numbers individually over that total. So Barney is going to get 3 fifths of the 41,750 and Swipe is going to get the remaining 2 fifths. And 25,050 plus 16,700 gives us back 41,750 and all our profits has been appropriated. Now let's take a look at the next part of the question which requires current account. Okay, so I'm doing the current accounts in a vertical format as opposed to the regular T account format, which means that it's going to look a little different. Now, what do we start off with? We start off with the balances. So Barney's going to have credit balance. Swipe is going to have a debit balance. How do you show that with vertical accounts? You simply put debits with brackets. Those are the negative figures. Now, what goes in current accounts? Remember we talked about it earlier, earnings. I'm going to scroll back up a little bit so we can take a look in the appropriation account to see what the partners earned. So as we're seeing here, partners earned interest on capital. So let's put those items in. And then Barney was the only one that earned the salary. So we're going to put that in as well. Don't forget the share of profit for each of those partners. And we also had drawings. So drawings, remember, we had those figures given to us. And the interest on drawings, let's scroll up a little bit more so we can see those figures as well. Right, so 200 and 300. So let's go back down to the current accounts and put those figures in. And all we have to do now to get the balances in the current accounts is add going down. So again, anything without brackets is a positive item. Anything with brackets is a negative item. And when you add and subtract going down, the final figure is the balance. Okay, so that's about it for this question. If you want to check out some more videos, please be sure to click those cards up there. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you know every time I drop a new video. Check out my website for free payway handouts. And as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Bye.